Welcome. Wow, Earth sign. Tauruses. We are on to you, Tauruses. Tauruses, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's see what is coming up for you, Tauruses, in the month of December. Ooh, ciao. It is a happy month. I got to say this. All right. So, Tauruses, if you want to see the extended of this reading, use the join button. Please remember to share. Share, share, share. All right. Tauruses, we see the energy of teaching. This is a corporation institution that a lot of you Tauruses are going to be dealing with in this uh, month of December. And it has to do with um, a Aries Leo Sagittarian person is coming up as a Leo person. I see a lot of you are going to be finding out a whole lot of things about a Leo person and a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn man from another country. Whoever this man is and whatever this man has done together with a, a Leo person, they're now recognizing a corporation is onto this Leo woman and this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man. You are going to be successful, Tauruses, the energy of uh, the star, okay? Is coming out in the second week where you're going to be successfully overcoming your burdens. A lot of you Taurus have burdens. And I see um, the truth is going to be coming in. I see um, the energy of an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person um, is going to be trying to uh, heal your reputation, Tauruses. So Tauruses in your house, it sits good. Your, your house is looking good, Tauruses. You have the energy of the star. So you, Tauruses, that was dealing with some sort of a problematic inf institution. Now, situation is going to come to an end. Justice is here in the third week, week of the 15 until the 21st. I see justice is here. So Tauruses, you're going to be very successful. Justice over a Libran, whoever this Libran is. They now recognize what this Libran has done. Um, you are going to be justified and they recognize that this Libran and their friends have done something that was not above water. No good news for this Libran. They are now recognizing what this Libran has done. So Taurus says this looks very, very good. Truths, a new beginning is coming up for you, Tauruses, in the last week. This new beginning has yeah, a new start for you, Tauruses, but not for a Scorpion. Whoever the Scorpion is, is not going to get a new start. They recognize what a Scorpion has done, and they're not going to be getting a new start. The Eight of uh, um, Swords, they are finding out the truth of a Pisces and who a Pisces is and what a Pisces has done. So, wow. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. It is a wow. So, Tauruses, you have a good month. A good month, okay? Um, this month is a month of transition, and you have a very good month, Tauruses, because something is coming out. A corporation institution is recognizing something, and you, Tauruses, are going to be very, very successful. And, you know, whatever this legal issue or this legal problem is and was, you're going to be overcoming this problem. You now successfully overcome a Leo woman and a Libran. They're finding out the truth about a Leo woman and a Libran, what a Leo woman and a Libran have done. Um, a lot of you in the, the house, um, I see that truth is not going to be being revealed about a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn man. And I see the law is coming in to shut down some sort of uh, situation that was created. The Six of Wands is about good news, but the Six of Wands uh, is about Jupiter in Leo. So a Leo woman that you Tauruses was dealing with is not going to be um, successful. You Tauruses is going to be uh, bringing down a situation with this Leo woman. Your burdens are going to be over because justice is coming in and is standing up. Whoever the scorpion is, it's not going to be getting a new start. And I see that they are investigating. The six of ones is the house of, uh, um, they're, they're investigating a situation. So if you recognize some sort of a news that a Aquarian Gemini or Libra person was open to receive, 
it's not going to be coming in it's no good news for a aquarian gemini or libra man now a taurus virgo or a capricorn man and an aquarian gemini or libra man was open to get some sort of a news uh, news it's not going to be coming in so um taurus is these people that you're dealing with and um you work with or you're you're in a relationship with or their friends or kenneths i see um scorpion and pisces a whole lot of information is coming out about pisces okay burdens is going to be over with a libran a lot of you were dealing with a libran destined a situation was destined to happen and you're going to be very very lucky tauruses it was destined that they find out something about a um a, 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 a um uh, an emotional situation was destined to come out. This emotional situation has to do with an Aries. An Aries in a corporation institution. A lot of you, Tauruses is going to be finding out something about an Aries in a corporation institution. Whoever this Aries is, um, they're now destined to find out. You're going to be lucky, Taurus, so, uh, because whoever this Aries is, they now recognize uh, um, something about an Aries corporation. Your emotional imbalance about a corporation where an Aries, it, this person could have co-created a situation or this person could have dragged you in a situation. They're not recognizing. It was destined for people to find out who this Aries is and what exactly was happening to this Aries. Okay. Let's look at your house, Taurus's imperiality in your house, okay? And a resolution is going to be coming up. So when it comes up to your house, um, what was happening and transpiring, you're going to be using the truth, uh, the sword of truth to bring down a really um, uncomfortable situation that you were sitting in. So a lot of you Tauruses, you're going to be receiving the energy of a key. And this key is about a resolution that is going to be transpiring because there was some sort of an impartial situation that was created against you. And a resolution is going to be coming in and you're using the sword of truth to bring down whatever that was transpiring and happening um, against you that Aries have created. And a resolution is going to be coming in and you are going to be using the sword of truth. So um, Taurus says, be aware of what you do and how you do it in the month of December. Okay. Um, because it's as if you Taurus is, is going to be balancing out some sort of a problematic uh, situation that was happening. All right. In the third week, um, they're going to be ending some sort of a trickery that was happening. OK, they're going to be recognizing that a woman, it could be a Gemini woman, took a whole lot of money that was not hers. And they're now going to be finding out that a Gemini woman has been lying and a Gemini woman created a, some sort of a disaster or situation and took a whole lot of money that wasn't her. A lot of you Taurus women could be finding out that there was some sort of a trick trick with a whole lot of money and you are going to be resolving this. So you have the energy of the law coming in and ending some sort of a trickery with a woman. A woman um, was trying to get a whole lot of money and they came down on this lady. Now it is not showing up who this lady is, but this lady fall in the third house so Taurus is I hope that is not you because you Taurus is have to pay back a lot of money okay Whew. so um service um some sort of a, a news if you were hoping to start up something if there was problem with your business if there was some sort of a problem I see that you're going to be ending this problematic situation and um, a whole lot of conflicts and competition that was around you is going to come to an end because a new start is going to be coming up to your business. Um, your business, a whole lot of people are trying to compete against you and I see some sort of an imbalance to the service that you were given and this is going to come to an end because of the conflicts, the conflicts that people had created. The competition that people were carrying around you and your business and a house. Um, some of you could have been working out a house and people wanted to stop you and uh, was creating a whole lot of chaos around you. This is going to be over. So competition, um, 
in your family if family was competing against your family was trying to compete against you it is going to come to an end because uh, people now recognize uh, um, what was going on so a new start is going to be coming in for you now um be aware um the people and the situation because family was very come um was competing against you now in the house of friends i see a whole lot of joy and happiness and new opportunities is going to be coming in um for you tauruses okay um i see that you tauruses women are going to be overcoming a situation that a leo friend had done against you so if you're a taurus woman um or you're going to be recognizing that uh, a Leo woman had forfeited and co-created a situation for a Taurus Virgo a Capricorn person. And I see happiness and joy is going to be coming back to this person. A whole lot of joy for the you Taurus women who was dealing with a Leo friend. Or um because uh, um a Taurus Virgo a Capricorn person is going to be helping you out. So um this is going to be good because I see multiple opportunities is going to be coming up for a Taurus Virgo a Capricorn person. I see that you women are going to be happily overcoming a Leo person that co-created some sort of a chaos for you and people are now recognizing. The burdens, 10 of ones, a Gemini had created a whole lot of burdens for you. Taurus's changes is coming up for a Gemini, whether this uh, Gemini or this Virgo is that co-created some sort of an elusive situation over you Tauruses and is going to be coming in for this person. So a lot of you Tauruses was carrying a lot of burdens and this was burdens that friends have created. And these friends could have been people who you live and um, people at the workplace, co-workers created a whole lot of burdens and illusions around you and created problems for you. And this is going to be over. So thank God for that. So the 10 of ones comes up where they could be finding out what a Sagittarian at the workplace have done. If you are friend with a Sagittarian, live with a Sagittarian, they're going to be recognizing some sort of a devastated situation. Where the Sagittarian co-worker of friends created a whole lot of issues for you, Taurus. This could be someone who you had collaborated with in the past. Truths are now being revealed. You, Taurus, this is now going to be finding out your self-worth. An end is coming up for a Libran. They now recognize what a Libran has done. Uh, regrets for a Libran. Um, you, you Tauruses are not regretting it, but I see this Libran regret what they have done. So whoever this Libran is, is in the house of the Libran. The secret of a Libran is now out and an end is coming in for this Libran. Okay. So it's as if this Libran was wanting to parade on you. Whether this Libran is work together with a cancer in order to parade on you and create a whole lot of chaos. And end is here for a cancer and a Libran. This cancer and this Libran had a whole lot of secrets and an end is here. Growth is here. Um, and this is good. Um, a lot of you are growing um, and is getting better at um collaborating with people you're really growing in a really positive way a whole lot of a conflicts for you taurus men and your kid children if you taurus men have children that is scorpion a whole lot of problematic situation for you and your kids there is problems with you taurus men and your kids growing up your kids there's a whole lot of problems and issue so um the new start is not going to be coming in so if you um taurus men have a child that is a scorpion no new start is going to be coming in for this child because whatever this child has done and however this child has co-created a situation you taurus men are having some huge conflicts with a scorpion person and the conflicts between you and the scorpion person is going to be ending that the scorpion person do not get a new start okay so be aware of this life is full of surprises and it's a situation where um this has been going on abundance is coming up for you taurus men and taurus men who have business and um, some sort of uncertainty is coming up so rich taurus men with business 
uncertainties here for your business internationally. Um, Taurus men, you got to be aware because a whole lot of information is going to be coming out to you internationally. They're now going to be recognizing something about you, Taurus men, and your business, business that you do overseas or internationally. Truth is going to be coming out. I see a whole lot of communication. So Taurus men, you were having problems with um your business overseas and a whole lot of information is coming out. Some of you Taurus men could have been connecting with um, a Taurus for a Capricorn person overseas doing some sort of a business. And I see a whole lot of news of uncertainty could be coming out in the first week, the week of the first until the seven. So be aware of that. Then we are looking at mysticism, mysticism. And this mysticism is with an Aquarian Gemini or Libra man in another country or another city. Now, whoever this man is, is as is, this man is using mysticism to um, either control a situation, whether they're going to be, no, yes. So here we are seeing what is transpiring. So you tourist men, um, our women, there is some sort of a contractual agreement that was created. They now recognize that you Taurus men could have used data and information. So the mysticism is that an Aquarian Gemini or Libra person is looking at what has transpired in another country and over a contract. And they're recognizing that you Taurus um, men did something Okay, because I see your reputation is here on the line. They recognize that you Taurus men did something to a Capricorn um, couple or a Capricorn and their children. Truths are now going to be revealed because an Aquarian Gemini or Libran is recognizing that there was some sort of an illusionary situation that you Taurus is created over a Capricorn person in another country or another city. And um, they recognize that some sort of a double contract, you create some sort of an illusion around a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person from another country. And they're not going to be recognizing what you Taurus have done. Then I see um, uh, instinct, your instinct about a group of people. Ooh, this is not good. If you were in a relationship with a Leo person, you're going to be recognizing how really devious a Leo person is. So, and your burdens is going to be over because they're going to be recognizing that a Leo person is very devious and what a Leo person have done. So you Tauruses, your intuition about a Leo person is right on track. Whatever is happening and transpiring, they're now recognizing. A group of people is now recognizing. Um, I see no happiness for a group of people because they recognize what a group of people have done. Now, your instinct about... Uh, um, some sort of a news that you receive or your instinct about some sort of a communication that you get from a group of people. You got to be aware of who this group of people is. Your instinct was right on track. There was, um, 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 you're going to be finding out that a Leo person was very dishonest. Whoever this Leo person is or whatever was transpiring, this Leo person um, wanted some sort of a information and uh, I see you're going to be recognizing the lies and deceptiveness of this Leo person, okay? Impatient. A lot of you um, Tauruses are impatient um, about a situation. You Tauruses are impatient. You want the situation to be resolved. A lot of you Tauruses have some sort of a problem with a Pisces and you want this situation to be resolved and you are very impatient dealing um, with the situation. So twice the energy of... Uh, this is the ten of uh, um, the ten of swords, and some sort of a communication is going to be coming out, and they're going to be recognizing that a Pisces person, whoever the Pisces person is, a lot of information is coming out about a Pisces person, and they're now going to be recognizing that the Pisces person, whoever the Pisces person is, was very impatient. They tried to do something and was impatient and it's not going to be um, in their four day because a lot of data and information came out about a Pisces person and what a Pisces person have done in the past. So it is a situation where a lot of you Tauruses, uh, whoever this Pisces person is, you have a lot of karma to deal with. And 
um some sort of a documentation and data is coming out and they're now going to be recognizing um that a gemini a gemini had some sort of a documentation and data that this gemini should not have had and some sort of a information that a gemini had from the past um was used by a pisces in order to accumulate something and i see truths are going to be revealed a lot of you Taurus men are going to be having some sort of a conflict, conflict over a child and conflicts over some sort of a conflict in data and information that came up. So, okay, so um, a lot of you Tauruses, luck is on your side for Taurus women and is going to be coming in. Um, you Taurus women got caught in, um, uh, um, it's as if you got connected with a group of people um, that wasn't speaking the truth. You Tauruses could have been connected with a cancer. Whoever this cancer is, you're going to be finding out that this person wasn't speaking the truth. I see doors of opportunities is going to be opening um, for a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person because they now recognize uh, um, that this person, uh, a Leo, try to create a lot of chaos for this person okay all right so um your abundance um tauruses it, it is in the ninth house okay your abundance is with foreign business that sort of a situation that is where your abundance lays okay your abundance is with uh, the ninth house and the third house. Taurus women, your abundance is in the third house. And you Taurus woman together with a Gemini is having some sort of a problem. And you Taurus women is going to be bringing the law in on a Gemini. Because you Taurus women recognize that a Gemini took a whole lot of money that was not for them. Okay, whoever this Gemini is and whatever is transpiring, you Taurus women are going to be recognizing that a Gemini has took a whole lot of money. So your money is by a Gemini. It can be a sister or someone who um, you lent out money with. And for Taurus men, I see your abundance is in the ninth house. Okay, so a whole lot of business for Taurus men is going to be coming um from overseas that is where business is going to be coming in that's where you're going to be making your money um your business is internationally and that's where you men your money um lies but for women your money lies in at the third house so it could be in a house it could be in a business or it could be by friends that you lent money how to okay so it's in different places When we look at the third house energy, uh, it is friends, acquaintances, <clears throat> um, property. For a lot of you women, that's where your money is. When we look at house of the family, there was a whole lot of problems in the family, a whole lot of competition um, that was going on between family members. And it says if some of you Tauruses is going to be getting out walking away leaving this conflicts behind you okay whoever had a leo friends you're going to be ending relationship with this leo friend because you're going to be recognizing that this leo friend or partner whoever this person is have been creating a whole lot of issues um for you i see you're going to be happy to turn your back on a Leo woman. So Taurus is if you were in a marriage or a relationship with a Leo woman, they recognize the secrecy of a Leo woman. It's going to come to an end. Okay. There's one house that is very complex. Okay. And I'm going to tell you which house is it. 10th house of your reputation. And 11 hours of groups of people, Tauruses, is very complex. Okay, very, very complex. And whenever we have the energy of mysticism, it's as if they're going to be recognizing that an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra man um, was working some sort of a, a witchcraft, black magic for a 
um, for a couple, okay? So mysticism, what do you understand from mysticism? Okay. And they're looking at an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra man. Oh, and whoever this Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra man is, is at the workplace because this is career. So this could have been your boss. This could have been people in authority. This could have been a lawyer. And they're going to be recognizing that they created some sort of a contract for a, a Cancer and a Gemini. So this, this, this situation is in the house of career. So Tauruses, you got to be aware of the house of career. Be aware for an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra man, okay? This man is using mysticism to get some sort of a contractual agreement. So you got to be aware of this person, okay? Who is this um, um, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person? This person is in another, um, is... Is, is doing something to get some sort of a contractual agreement for a cancer and a, a, ver, a Gemini. So if you recognize um, whoever this man is, are you Taurus is in a relationship with a man, uh, um, an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra man from another country? Okay, this is in the house of the tent house. The tent house is about a, a um business your boss okay were you tauruses um creating illusionary contractual agreement it's going to be coming out if you tauruses had created some sort of a double contract for a cancer they're going to be now recognizing that you tauruses was behind this so um Mysticism is about witchcraft. This house is very, very, it is a strange house. Okay. And they're going to be recognizing that a Leo person, um, used and went to an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran man, um, in another country to create some sort of a mysticism to get some sort of a contract agreement. And they're going to be ending it because they find out that um, this Aries Leo or Sagittarius person was using witchcraft. Okay. And they're going to be finding out the secrets. So a cancer person worked together with a Leo person to get some sort of a contractual agreement. And uh, you see the energy of the self word is that you Tauruses really recognize what this cancer have done because this cancer could have used witchcraft to manipulate you in order to get some sort of a contractual agreement and gave it to a Leo woman in the past. And you're going to be recognizing that is witchcraft because you Tauruses are like, Jesus, uh, how did I get connected with these people and whatever is transpiring? Some of you Tauruses that was in some sort of a relationship with a cancer is going to be re recognizing that a cancer went to a Aquarian, Gemini or Libra man. No. When you see here come up with mysticism, okay? When you see here comes up with mysticism, someone is using um, witchcraft to control a situation. So you Tauruses are going to be thinking, how did, how did this person come in my corporation institution? How the hell did I give this person some sort of a contractual agreement? And you're going to be somehow recognizing Okay, because a um a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person could be telling you you were under the control of mysticism, um, manipulated by energies, and that's how they get a contract. Okay, so this mysticism is you know, and I'm going to be finding out because I don't like to. <laughs> oh. Taurus is, I got to find out this mysticism because we're seeing an Aries Leo or Sagittarian man. All right. Hmm. Whoever this man is, Taurus is, this man is using witchcraft. This man is deep in some witchcraft. 
um, situation. Okay. All right. Our universal angels and guides to your light beams. Explain to the Tauruses. Mysticism. Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. Who is this person? What is this person? Because this man is a this man is a is working with the unseen world and wants some sort of a contract, cause wants some sort of a travel contract, some sort of a business, and is using witchcraft to get this. You see it, ladies and gentlemen, mysticism. When we have the energy of mysticism, and this is in the tenth house, so it's career and business. All right, let's see what's happening. What is happening? Um, what is happening to the stories? Yes, yeah, sick news. Okay. All right. So Taurus says uh, a woman, a woman use witchcraft to get some of you Tauruses. Okay. A, a woman use uh, witchcraft the manipulator situation so that they could get some of you Tauruses. Now, when we look at the situation, Tauruses, this is a serious, serious situation. Oh my God. Ooh. So, and we see that some of you Taurus just fall in love with a woman. Okay. And if you notice, this mysticism is that this person is sick. Some of you Tauruses just fall in love with a woman and didn't even recognize how you fall in love with this woman and marry this woman. And you're going to be recognizing that you were under a trance of mysticism. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. So a lot of you Tauruses is going to be recognizing shit. How, how, you know, you are under the trance of mysticism. And this is how you fall in love with a woman from overseas is as if you were mystetized by this person this person work with witchcraft and an aquarian gemini or libra person is the one who is doing it and have you mysterize and that's how you got to give this person some sort of a contract because in the normal life you would not have done this taurus it's kind of so Taurus, men, you have been caught under love spell, love magic. Love spell and love magic where a woman caught you by using mysticism. And that's how you get to marry. So it could, it, it is coming up. Okay. Um, so a lot of you Tauruses. Um, and it's in the house of the 10th house. So um, a relationship, business relationship, business marriage, that sort of a situation because it's in the else of 10th house. And the 10th house situation is that uh, it's some sort of a travel documents and contract agreement. Like um, you Tauruses was memorized by a woman and um, this woman memorized you in getting you to give them some sort of a travel documents and contract to some sort of a travel documents. Okay, here it is. So, so you Tauruses are under some sort of a controlling spell. All right, if you need to extend it, go find out because it's in the tent house. So it could be someone you met at the workplace. It could be someone. Um, it is uh, not a. It is not a Capricorn. It's like a Capricorn is showing you and said, "Hey, Taurus, wake up because you're under some sort of a trance." All right, Taurus is. Uh, you're going to be wake up because a Capricorn is saying to you, you're under some sort of a trance. This woman that wants you to marry them and take them to another country, put you under some sort of a trance. You're just in love with this woman and is doing everything. Um, so Taurus says, this is in your reading. And it's like some of you Tauruses is going to be saying to a Libran man, listen, Libran man, go get a reading from a Capricorn because this person is good because this person um, recognize that you um, and it's like a Gemini man was put under some sort of a trance okay and um, this Gemini man recognized and it's like you Taurus recognize this Gemini man would not have married to this woman this Gemini man was put under some sort of a trance it is an Aquarian Gemini or Libra person that was put and placed under some trance and some sort of a control to marry to a woman a cancer woman so this woman could get some sort of a 
travel documents from another country because this woman wasn't good. So you Taurus recognize that the woman wasn't good and the woman didn't have the right papers. And this woman used, because this was the situation where we see the energy of this mysticism and this Aquarian Gemini or Libra man. And they're now going to be recognizing that a cancer use mysticism to control a Gemini man to get some sort of a travel documents from another country because this cancer didn't have the right papers. <laughs> I gotta go. So, ooh, chill. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, the ringmaster. I tell you, people, you know, I, I, I tell a lot of people, and people who come from another country and just want you to marry them and the rest of it, you be aware of this, okay? Just be aware of this because this 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 woman put a Gemini. Here it is. Because I was like mysticism, Aquarian Gemini, or Libra person. And then we're getting to the bottom of the uh, 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 situation. An Aquarian Gemini or Libra man was placed on the mysticism, okay? So they control this man with their witchcraft, Okay, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This man is under control with witchcraft. And um, that is how he fall in love with a cancer woman. Because this man placed, this this woman placed this man under some sort of a witchcraft. And that's how this woman could marry to a Gemini man in order to get some sort of a, um, get into a country and get some sort of a, Travel documentation. Boy, I tell you, people, I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you got to be aware. This poor man is on, under the control of witchcraft. Uh, let's see your house. So let's check out your house. So you're going to be very successful, Tauruses. You're going to be resolving an issue. You're going to be finding out the truth of what was transpiring. You're going to be using the sword of truth. To shut down a situation that was going on you're going to be resolving a situation because it's as if you Taurus is, was used in a situation so your money um is by third house and abundance for you men is by your business overseas all right so we see the ringmaster and the ringmaster comes up to discern clear vision and details the ringmaster is aligning you tauruses and letting you taurus uh, know that a gemini man is under some sort of a uh, mysticism and uh, a cancer woman get a gemini man to marry to her so she could have some sort of a travel documentation okay the 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 the, the diamond um dreamer materialistic wealth true prosperity is going to be coming in for you tauruses so um this is um good and the last card that we have is the resting tree a lot of you um tauruses need to rest rest is the name of the game you need to rest okay so um when the energy these are all cards of abundance but this is like um it's secretly letting you taurus is because you have the nine of pentacles here and you have abundance here so you taurus this is going to be as a season of pure abundance a lot of opportunity a lot of business a lot of things is now going to be transpiring and uh, truths are going to be revealed Tauruses, I do love you guys. Whatever is going on, Tauruses, be aware of what is going on. Oh my God. And um, um, before I go, I want to check out what is uh, the communication of a Pisces. A whole lot of information. I see hanger. You Taurus is always going to be hangry. You find out a lot of data about a Taurus, um, a Pisces. And I see they're investigating a situation. A whole lot of data and information came out about the past. And it came out about a Pisces man in the past. I see a lot of anger. Whatever the communication and information is, they recognize that a lot of people had a lot of jealousy towards you. Um, eight of The Eight of Swords in the reverse is about truths, information, and Data is coming out and they're not going to be recognizing that a lot of people have a lot of hang-ups about you, Tauruses, in the past. I see a lot of anger, a lot of anger, and um, 
the anger is uh, because some sort of a data and information came out they're now investigating the situation they're recognizing a lot of communication a lot of people emails are being checked people are now recognizing that a lot of people had a whole lot of hang ups about you Taurus it's gotta go namaste Thank you.